Hey guys, so I'm here at the home screen of PRTG and as I can see I have some errors. So I have three errors and I want to see what those are. So if I go to the top here there's new alarms button and I can see that my loopback adapter, my Wi-Fi traffic, and my ping sensor, all three of those sensors on my HP device are down. In this case I simply turned my device off. It's sleeping right now, so the device, or so my server can't communicate with it. But if something like this happens, it can tell you either there's a problem with the device, with the configuration that you may might have changed, or maybe there's a problem in the network or network infrastructure in between. So that's how you can, in real time, determine if you have a problem or not. So now I'm going to show you. The map function of PRTG so here on the top simply go to maps and then I have already created this network layout but I'm gonna create another one just to show you guys so to make a map go here to the right hand side click on add map and then you can name it I'll name it network layout 2 I'm going to set the width and height to 2000 then I'm gonna hit create and if you want to adjust these access settings you can so now I'm in my map designer I have my devices that have been found by PRTG with either network discovery or that I set up myself here on the right hand side and I have icons and different thing map design tools here on the right side so if I open this drop down I have my local probe so I, well, that's one device that's the server that has discovered these and you can see there's some error messages there and then expanding the network discovery we see that I have network infrastructure so here's the internet and then here's my gateway so I'm going to drag my gateway on because that's obviously a main portion of my network I'm going to put that at the top here then under windows I have a one Windows client, my HP Elite Book. I'm going to draw that and put that right there. And as I can see, I have those three errors on the HP Elite Book. So now to connect two devices, what you're going to do is you're going to select this small little dot on the left hand side of the computer icon and then drag it and drop it to the device that you want to connect it to. So now I'm going to connect this to my HP Elite book and as I can see we have several errors and several things that are also up and running so I'm going to turn on my laptop and we're going to see if those errors change as we continue to work so I can also change these icons which I'm going to do and I'll just use icons A I'm going to use set these two as laptops you simply drag it and drop it onto the onto the um, device. I'm also going to do that with this HP Elite Book which is also a laptop. And then for the gateway I'm going to find a icon that resembles or shows that I have wireless on this gateway. So I'll just select this one, drag it and drop it there. So now I've created a basic network map. If I want to cut a link, say if I accidentally connect it, then I can click on the scissors and it will um, disconnect that. And then I can drag and drop it back. So if you click on a device, uh, you have a couple things here on the property side. You have a top, you have left, you have width, you have height, and you have layer. So the top shows you how many units it is down from the top. So if I change it to 150, you're going to see it shifts up. So it's 150 units from the top. So if it's 200, it's going to move lower. From the left, if I change that to 500, it's going to move to the left. Um, width, if I change that to 200, it's going to increase. I can change the height to 200. It's going to grow larger. And I can do this manually, but if you want to do it um, 
physically or manually you can. And then you can also change the layer. So a layer, the lower the number is, the deeper it is. So a layer 2 icon would sit on top of a layer 1 icon. So that means you could grab the layer 2 icon even if it's inside or on top of that layer 1. Um, if they're the same size, that layer 2 icon is always going to be the one you grab first. So if you're having problems trying to move stuff around, um, manipulate, play with the layers, maybe manipulate some of them so that you have the proper settings, and then hopefully that will adjust it. Okay, so looking back, we can see we only have two errors now here, and we only have one error here, so... Let's see if we can, let's go to our view map and see if anything changes. So our map refresh and we can see that since the HP Elite Book is online, everything's green now and I have connectivity. Um, so that's the basics of designing a map. Of course, it's going to be much more compl complicated in a industrial environment. But thank you for watching my video.